I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Hi guys, I'm Rob from RV Travel Quest. This is a day in a routine of living in an RV. So, just got done changing out our propane tank. It was empty, uh, so you have to pull your tanks, um, depending on the weather, uh, every couple of weeks. Take them over, get them filled, and then put them back in. So I'm just kind of cinching things up and we got all kinds of things to do today. So we're going to have you join us. So today we're going to do some shopping, we're going to go to Home Depot and I want to fix the corners of our slide and also um, I'll show you on our door later uh, something I want to do to prevent our pets from getting hurt. So let me show you. So one of the big problems I'm worried about with our pets is our door. So what I want to show you right here is the corner and when this is closed like this and our dog wants to jump up on the door or jump up into the RV I'm afraid she's going to get hurt so we're going to find a way to protect this corner so today we're going to take a trip to the Home Depot and figure that out okay so we're ready to go yep what do we need where are we going <laughs> we've got a whole laundry list of things to do I know Home Depot like I said before Best Buy Best Buy um, Sprint. Sprint. Uh, a couple of things at Home Depot, other than the things for the corners. Yep. And lunch. Yep. Got to get lunch. And do we need anything for Cinder? I need some chewy toys, some dog toys. Oh yeah. All right, we're off, guys. Okay, so we stopped at Sprint, and it was kind of interesting because we have a business account with Sprint. We've been grandfathered in for years. So we're trying to find a way to get more bandwidth for our phones. So it looks like we might have the opportunity after we have a verification of our business account to get unlimited um, mobile internet that we could use for traveling with so we're kind of looking forward but it'll take a few days from the verifier account so that was kind of uh successful and plus sherry had to replace her sd card Come here, Cinder. and uh so now we're at lowe's not home depot to look for the tools i need to uh well the equipment i'm looking for to protect the corners of my slides and that and that door thing i showed you so we are gonna go hit the hill shopping mall so here we go okay we're here at lowe's so for the rv we're gonna put in a new uh shelf system so for 19 dollars we'll show you what it looks like when we're done we're gonna take the kennel out of the rv for the slides i picked up these two items which are for pipes but they're going the slides just fine but i gotta modify them a little bit go 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 guys but for the edging, I decided to go with something like this. I'm going to have to sand it down, but it'll round off the corners of the door. So that should do the trick. The trick. Then I came across something I think everybody should have. is a clear sealant. You've seen it on TV. And this is what it looks like. And I want to have this around for any funny leaks I might have. So that's what we got at Lowe's. Okay, so we went to Best Buy's. Right after we got done at Lowe's. And, uh... We had a gift certificate of $50 that we had, so we thought we'd uh, get something. So just to kind of tell you that RV living is a normal lifestyle, we get the same old thing. So 
we ended up getting printer cartridges for our wireless <laughs> Canon printer and Cinder seems to approve of it. So anyway, next stop is lunch. So off we go. So we're going to stop at McDonald's now and I want to see you let you guys see the torture we go through when we take Cinder to a drive for it because she keeps thinking she's going to get biscuits and McDonald's doesn't have biscuits. So, uh, here we go. I get a Big Mac meal with a large Coke. Alright. And then a single Big Mac by itself. Cinder, wait. Cinder, back, back, back. Thank you. You're not getting a treat. Not a treat. Does anybody else have trouble with their dog going berserk at anything that's a drive up window? It's the espresso stand's fault. Yeah. yeah. Why is my window better than your window? <laughs> huh? Why is that? Why is my window better than your window? Really? Tinder? Hi oh, there. Thank you. Tinder? No. Tinder back. <laughs> okay, so now you get to see the torture we go through trying to eat in our truck with Cinder. Get back. Cinder, get back. back. So typically Cinder gets french fries, but she gets kind of in anxious. Get back. Get back. Sit. 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 <laughs> Sit. This is life with a chocolate lab. She's really a good dog. So the, <laughs> the other problem we have with uh, having food is you may <laughs> notice our chairs get a little drooly from someone who really likes french fries. Yes, I still have fingers. <laughs> This is about the only time Cinder actually talks to us. Wait. One. You say. I'm going to talk to Lab here too, and we're. I'm giving. She saw your chocolate lab a minute ago and got all excited. Oh. Oh. But now, now they're getting burgers, so they're very happy. <laughs> yeah, she's getting some French fries. Yeah. So. yeah. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> How many dogs you got? Two. So, before I cut this off, we're actually in a part of the neighborhood, probably not one of the better neighborhoods. So, quite a few characters and stuff, but the car just pulled up. Notice we had a chocolate lab. They didn't have a hot chocolate lab. Their dogs get a little more spoiled because they get complete hamburgers. I'm not buying you a hamburger. We're just going to share french fries. So, that's all we got on this. Time to get home and pull out our toy. We got some work to do. So, for some silly reason, anybody thinks they want to live in Seattle. This is the kind of traffic we deal with every day. And this is the good part to it. I swear every highway up here in Everett has got a car accident or something. But I thought I'd let you see what it looks like. So all you RVers out there that are boondocking out in the Tules and the desert, at this particular point, we envy you. 
because this traffic is awful. So what are we going to do? We're going to take the dog kennel down and put it away. And in its place we're going to put a, a shelf that we can set our lunch bags and stuff from work on. Okay. So that's the kennel we're going to take out. Yep. And then we got a new shelf right here we're going to put in along with a bunch of other stuff. And we'll see what it looks like when we're done. So that's the corner we're going to put a shelf in, and this is the big, <laughs> let's give you an idea how big this thing is, this kennel is going to go away, so Cinder doesn't need it anymore, she's trained, so it's time to get our corner back. Okay, so what I want to show you right now is this is um, insulation, a 90 degree piece that is designed for your outdoor hose, and I want to use them on the corner of my slide. The problem is, is the slit is on the top, and I need it at the bottom. So what I'm doing is I took one already, and I've electrical taped this all through, and then I'm going to do a new cut right down here. So we'll see how that works. So, Okay, so I took my scissors, and I cut these through here. The only worry I have is they kind of, they might be kind of wide, I may have to work them down a little bit, but we'll give them a try. Here's the other one. So there's my first one, and the other one's going to go on that side, right there. So. I think that's going to work great. Oh, well, something for a little homemade head protector. Okay, now for my next trick is I'm taking this conduit, 90 degree conduit, and I bought two of them. And I took some scissors here that I got here, cut off the edging, and made a flat surface here. And so what I want to do is have this cover the pointed edge of the door. So it'll still kind of hurt if she hits her head on it, but sure beats putting a, a one inch gouge in her head if she hits the corner of that door. So now I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna install it. Alrighty, so we got a new little shelf in there. Looks like it's gonna work pretty good. Uh, we didn't want it too high so we could put a plan on it or something. And of course, the kitty's gonna wanna use it to look out the window. So I thought that came out pretty good. And now, we have lots of room for our big old fat chair. And we'll put the kennel back there, fold it up with a blanket around it so it doesn't scratch the wall. And you did good. Pretty simple. So here's one more look with the completed corner. We got that all cleared out now. Got a new shelf put in. And we got the chair in there. So nice and roomy, nice and comfy, and uh, we're pretty happy with that. And Sherry really worked hard on that too. So that's the completed project there. So now I need to tell you another thing that we picked. We stopped a bed and bath, and we had to get some kitchen stuff. But we also picked up a 
foot massager. And we're starting to get our age. We're starting to have some foot problems. And so we thought it'd be nice to have something to massage our feet so when we got home. So I'm going to open this up and we'll let you know how, how well it works. Well, this is what the new foot massager looks like. And I just tried it out and it's pretty awesome. And we're going to have Shuri try it out here in a second. And we just got it set up so you can sit in a chair and just put your feet in there and relax. And uh, it's pretty intense. So put your feet in there. And let's see. Blows air in there and it can also be heated, I guess. You don't have it working. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's not kneading, it's just doing the air intensity. So it's just. Oh, that's what it means by air. Air is it compressing your foot. Compresses it. And right now I have it on a medium intensity, but you can go up even one higher. And then it lets it out. Fills it up again. <laughs> well, you won't be getting up for a while. That's meeting. I wonder what the. So, what it's doing is squeezing your feet? Yeah. It doesn't do the heels too much, but it, it's the. Yeah, I noticed it doesn't do the heels as much as I wanted it to, but it sure does the rest of your foot pretty good. I like the heat, so got to have the heat. Yeah. And then you have the kneading intensity is low, medium, and high as well. The only problem is if you want to adjust that and you can't touch your toes, it's kind of a kind of <laughs> kind of tough. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a little tough. So that's our new toy. What do you think so far? Uh, ask me in an hour. <laughs> so that is how our day was today. And our point being is living in an RV is just like living in a house. So our theme for the next couple of weeks will be RV living is not a vacation. It's living. And so we want to kind of pass that along because we find that a lot of new RVers tend to kind of go into a vacation mode. And sometimes they get off to a bad start because expenses get high and they're moving all the time and it's not relaxing. So, um, as you can see, everything we showed you today was done on a Saturday. Right after this video, uh, we're going to be pulling out the bikes and going for a ride around the park. Then we're going to pull out the barbecue and cook up some pork chops, have dinner, and then probably watch a, uh, watch a movie. So. From RV Travel Quest, thank you for joining us today for our day, and we'll talk to you later. Remember what we say, what are you waiting for? Bye now.